Congratulations on your purchase of the Darex, the world's best-selling industrial drill sharpener. The XT3000 features a patented design that sharpens drills accurately in less than a minute. The super abrasive replaceable sharpening wheel can sharpen over 6,000 drills. It sharpens standard twist drills from 3 millimeters to 21 millimeters and offers quick point angle changes, creating angles from 118 to 150 degrees. And accessories are available to sharpen larger and more specialized drills. Your model XT3000 is capable of turning regular drills into self-centering, fast-cutting, high-performance drills. Drill Geometry Several key drill terms will be referred to throughout the video. The point angle, the cutting lips, the web, the chisel edge, the chisel edge angle, and the flutes. The term relief refers to the way the bit falls away behind the cutting lips to prevent the heel from rubbing. Your Derex has an innovative design that creates the right geometry in all of these areas. It starts with patented dual cams that move the drill in two directions, in and out, up and down, creating exactly the same motion factories use to make new drills. And your Derex uses an industrial strength super abrasive electroplated sharpening wheel so that thousands of drills can be sharpened without the wheel wearing down or changing shape. Split point drills. To create a split point, a secondary surface is ground from the heel to the tip of the drill. This narrows the web and creates the second set of cutting lips at the tip of the drill. Split point drills can be particularly useful when drilling in metal. Point and lip relief angles. On your Derex, you have the option to adjust the point angle and the lip relief angle on the drill. Many drills have a steeper 118 degree point angle. This angle is good for soft and low strength materials such as some cast irons, aluminum, plastic and wood. Decreasing the point angle increases the length of the lips and decreases the feed pressure. A shallower 135 degree point angle is often preferred for hard and tough materials such as high alloy steels. Increasing the point angle reduces the length of the lips and increases the feed pressure. Depending on the material you are drilling in, you may choose to increase or decrease this angle. A tour of Derex. The key parts to the Derex are the chuck, the alignment port, the sharpening port, and the splitting port. This is the chuck. The chuck jaws that hold the drill. The chuck knob that tightens the chuck jaws and the chuck cams that create the sharpening motion. Now look at the alignment port. These are the alignment notches. These are the pawl arms. This is the drill stop. And this is the alignment slide handle. When pushed in, it closes the pawl arms. This is the sharpening port. This is the cam guide. Note how the sharpening tube turns to insert the chuck. This is the splitting port. These are the cam dogs for aligning the chuck. This is the grit tray that collects dust particles from sharpening and splitting. This is the cover you remove to replace the sharpening wheel. How to sharpen with Derex? The XT3000 is designed to use the most common drill types. Your Derex will sharpen high-speed steel, carbide, cobalt, and parabolic drills, as well as tin and other coated drills. First, you will need to consult your user guide to ensure that your XT3000 is set up correctly and is ready to use. Before sharpening, determine the point angle of your drill by placing the drill in a protractor or drill gauge. Most drill angles are 118 or 135 degrees. Then align the drill. This sets the drill so that only a small amount of the tip is taken off and ensures that the drill geometry is correct for sharpening. Next, sharpen drill by turning the chuck clockwise. Finally, you may want to split the point of the drill. That's all there is to sharpening with your Derex. Detailed demonstrations. Before sharpening, you should ensure that the point angle is set correctly. Unlock the lever and rotate to set angle between 118 and 150 degrees. First, set the material removal setting. Rotate the knob clockwise to remove less material and counterclockwise to remove more. The minimum setting will remove approximately five thousandths the maximum about twenty thousandths of an inch. 
Release the alignment locking lever and rotate the alignment tube to the relief angle you wish to sharpen and relock the lever. This setting may vary depending on the drill's diameter, web thickness, and helix angle. Note that your Derex is most effective when used to sharpen drills to their original relief angle. If you are making a large change in the angle of the drill, you will need to align and sharpen the bit two to three times. Step 1. Alignment. Insert the drill into the chuck and tighten the chuck knob just to the point where the drill slides in and out. If the drill is held too tightly, it won't align properly. Use the appropriate chuck for the size of the drill being sharpened. The drill diameter ranges are marked on the chuck cam. Align the chuck dog with the notch on the alignment for it. Insert the chuck. Slowly squeeze the red slide handle until it touches the casting. Then, look at your drill and make sure the drill tip is touching the pusher shaft cap and that the pawl arms are holding the drill across the flutes. This is important because this setting determines the relief angle. Then, firmly tighten the chuck knob, release the red slide handle, and remove the chuck. Step 2. Sharpen. Turn the sharpening port so that the drill clears the wheel once it is in position in the port. Insert the chuck with the thickest part of the cam touching the swing bearing. Release the port slowly. Rotate the chuck clockwise a full turn several times. Repeat six to ten times. It is important to keep consistent chuck pressure on the port. Let the cam dictate the natural in and out sharpening motion. Turn the port and remove the chuck. To split the point, do not remove the drill from the chuck after sharpening. First, loosen the point split nut. Rotate the fan adjuster to desired setting and retighten. Insert the chuck into the splitting port. Align the cam dogs with the notches on the split tube. Let the weight of the chuck ease the drill down and into the grinding wheel. When the grinding noise subsides, remove the chuck about halfway and rotate 180 degrees to split the opposite side of the drill point. Inspect the drill. If you are not satisfied with the depth of the split, rotate the depth adjustment lever to either increase or decrease the depth of split. Maintenance and cleaning. Your Derex is a precision tool and should be cleaned regularly to remove dust and grit that can wear down the ports and the chucks. The following process takes about five minutes and will help maintain optimal performance of your machine. You will need to clean the chuck, the alignment port, the sharpening wheel area, the sharpening port, and the splitting port. Unplug your Derex before beginning the cleaning process. Use a dry cloth or a one inch vacuum hose or compressed air to remove dust particles from all of the ports and sharpening area. A clean chuck will prevent drills from slipping out of alignment during sharpening. To clean, blow compressed air through the chuck from the knob end to remove grinding dust. Then, if needed, consult your user's guide to take the chuck apart for thorough cleaning. The sharpening wheel will need to be cleaned and occasionally replaced. To change the wheel, remove the cover, unscrew, and replace with a new wheel. You will also need to empty the grit tray. This is located in the back of your machine and will need to be removed and emptied. Attachments A variety of attachments are available for your Derex. They are available for purchase through Derex.com or by contacting your local distributor. The large drill attachment will allow the XT3000 to sharpen drills from 13 sixteenths of an inch to 1 and 3 sixteenths. The 90 to 120 degree attachment allows you to sharpen spotting drills. Left-handed chucks are available to sharpen left-handed drills from 1 8 inch to 13 16 inch. The XY table attachment is necessary to use the countersink, brad point, and step drill attachments. It is attached by using the quick disconnect feature to remove the current sharpening fixture. The countersink attachment will allow you to quickly and easily sharpen countersinks. It attaches directly onto the XY table. The brad point attachment sharpens drills from 1 8 inch to 31 64 inch. An optional larger chuck can sharpen drills up to 13 16 inch. The step drill attachment makes it easy to align and sharpen step drills from 1 8 inch to 31 64 inch. An optional larger chuck can sharpen drills up to 13 16 At Derek's, we want to ensure that you are fully satisfied with your product. 
Consult your user's guide and our website for additional information and contact numbers. Thank you for buying Derek's.